What's going on top producers? Alexander Fuzzolani here. And today we are going to discuss what is capping in the real estate industry. But before we do that, I'm gonna need you a like, subscribe, and elbow drop that notification bell so we can continuously bring this content to you every Tuesday and Friday for free 99. And before we dive into what is capping, I just wanna make a disclaimer that this is a video not made to sell any particular brokerage in regards to capping. It's just based on my knowledge and is capping important for you as a new agent or as an experienced agent. So we're gonna dive into that a little as well. With that being said, there's a many different brokerages out there. We got Compass, we got Charles Ruttenberg, we got uh, EXP Realty, we got Remax, we got Exit Realty, we got literally insert franchise here and then on top of that we have mom and pop brokers just saying hey listen we're the best in the niche area and they use statistics like transactions closed or the sides taken or sales volume guys everyone's going to be number one in something if we kind of went off of specific statistics but one term that's used a lot is capping right i hear this a lot and i, I get a lot of questions from newer agents like what is capping right so Basically, what capping is, is once you bring in a certain amount of revenue for the company or for a specific company, you're going to be upgraded to a 100% commission or a higher split, right? So in my experience, right, there's um, three main uh, capping companies or companies that I know of that are like, you know, they offer some type of incentive. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more out there, but I've only kind of been exposed to a couple, right? So one is Exit Realty, one where I started, right? So they, could, they didn't really have a necessarily 100% cap, but once you made $180,000, they bumped you up from a 70-30 split to a 90 split, but each exit is ran independently. So I could be wrong, that could have changed. And you know, I highly recommend that you guys do your own research on these particular companies. But that's one company that kind of offers some type of capping incentive. Another big one is Keller Williams, right? So Keller Williams um, is the OG when it came it comes to capping in my eyes, right? So they're the ones that kind of um, started the whole capping process. Um, in New York, when I interviewed with a couple of Keller Williams, I, I noticed down the line that they, you cap at $24,000 of GCI that's given to the company, right? So once the company makes 24,000, every dollar that you're making outside of that is going to be 100% commission, right? Me, I can speak for EXP because I'm actually part of EXP Realty. Um, their cap is 16,000. So once you hit 80,000 GCI, every dollar you make above that is going to be at 100% commission. And each one of these companies, obviously there's some type of transaction fee associated with that. So you have to do your own research when it comes to those things. Right. So now let's talk about is capping important. Right. So obviously, as a producing agent, capping is super important and makes it allows us to make 100 percent commission right off the bat. Like, you know, what I'm saying, especially if you're closing a lot of deals. Uh, my team closes over 100 million dollars worth of real estate per year. So obviously, you know, we were able to cap and, and, and continue going a lot quicker. Right. So, you know, it's, it's really great for producing agents. Um, for a newer agent, I don't think a cap is super important, honestly. What I think is more important to a newer agent is that you hop on a team or hop in a brokerage that is going to pour into you sales skills, give you opportunities to kind of get your feet wet and actually, you know, go out there with clients and, you know, learn, learn firsthand what it's like to be a real estate agent. Right. So for me, for newer agents, that's more important than capping because the likelihood of you actually making eighty thousand dollars or plus in your first year is very unlikely. Um, and like I said, guys, your brokerage shouldn't be a blind loyalty thing. It should be about tools, culture and value. If the, if if the company's core values and morals align with you and their their tools align with you. To me, that's more important than, you know, going to like 100 percent brokerage. Right. Um, you know, I, I like having all the tools. I like having the support and things of that nature. So, you know, think about that, especially if you're a newer agent and there you have it guys, that's capping. It's basically the revenue that you're bringing a certain amount of revenue you're bringing to your company. That's going to allow you to make a higher split from that point forward. Um, if you have any question in regards to the Ian Alexander real estate team with EXP Realty, I'm more than happy to to you know answer any questions and like i said exp is not for everybody i'm a big 
proponent of, you know, you got to find your own path in the wild, right? Um, but if you have any questions in regards to EXP, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm an open book when it comes to that. And if you have any questions in regards to real estate, please feel free to DM me on Instagram or hit us up on Twitter or hit me up on Twitter. Um, like I said, I'm an open book. And as always, guys, this video is brought to you by Design for Agents, the e-commerce gear to making sure you have what you need in order to succeed in the real estate industry. So go check that out in the description below or in the link above. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.